Hey y'all, greetings from cold and yes, snowy Middle Tennessee. <laughs> okay, y'all can laugh. Snow to us is just a few flakes, but we've already had some snow this morning and it's really getting cold. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I would do something a little different this time. Most of us know how to paint and sitting and watching me base coat, I just don't think it's that much fun and I don't know. I'm just going to kind of play this by ear and see what happens. But this month's theme is Tiny Treasures. And boy, do I love this theme. As you can see on my table, I have a bunch of painted dominoes. I have an order for 110. I've already sent 50 off. And these others, I still have to paint 25 more. But these others will go out this week, I hope, or the first of next week. It doesn't matter when, but this is just something I thought I would show you the process of how to create tiny treasures. I know most of you belong to Tool Town because you don't want to make your own patterns. And that's really cool because it gives us a chance to make patterns because we love it. And it's no fun to make patterns if nobody wants to paint them, but you know, it's a fine line. <laughs> Some of us would be designing no matter what. These um, paint up so quickly. And these are going to be ornaments. My favorite thing to make is magnets. And if you use magnets, please use good quality magnets that stick. But um, as I said, these are going to be ornaments. And I use these little bales. And you can find them on Amazon. Um, look up jewelry bales. This one's a hundred packet. I usually buy them 200 at a time, but Amazon lost my other package and oh, that's another story. We're not going to deal with that. But anyway, these are the bales and you glue them on the back. I like to use Gorilla Glue Super Glue Gel. It's the best that I have found. And then I like to use these little ornament hooks to attach them. And it makes it look a little dressier. And you know what? I really need some more light on this subject, don't I? I don't know if that's going to make a glare or make any difference or not. But let's see what we can do. Let's see what happens. But anyway, when I paint these, I am a messy painter. I think I've told y'all that so many times. And before I put magnets or bales on them, I use old sandpaper and sand off the back. That just makes it look a little better. Sometimes I don't do a good job, but it's it's better than it was. The customer doesn't know that, but I do. So um, this that's just how I... Um, I sell them, and it's the customer's choice. These are all new patterns that I sketched the other day, and these over here are already in a pattern pack. Though they may be simple, they're my design, and I ask that you don't just copy them like one lady did in a group. I ask that you buy the pattern because that's how I make my living, and that's the only way that I've got to make a living. Anyway, I can't worry about someone else and what they do. I just focus on me and try to do the right thing. Now, these are so easy and simple. And I love to paint quick and easy. But I like to add some details. And that is a little stray speck there. From, probably from the um, splatter underneath. But anyway, you can always increase these if your printer increases them whatever size you want it to be whether it's larger or smaller take whatever size you want it to be and divide that by the size that it is and you multiply it by 100 and these can go on any surface if you don't like painting tiny increase them that's perfectly okay and I encourage you to do that. Now, I want 
to show you what I like to do. And I hope I don't knock those off. Charcoal has already done that once this week, last week, and it was not fun finding them all between every little nook and cranny. I'm going to give you some helpful hints, I hope, along the way. Some I've already shared. This one, the first one I see is leaving my stencil brush with paint in it. I am so bad about that. But just put some hand sanitizer in your hand and rub it in there and rub it off on a paper towel and it comes right out. I don't suggest doing that always, but it'll save you. Murphy's Oil will do it too. Now, I... I like to just grab a bunch of different surfaces and base coat them. And yes, everything I have has dog hair all over it. I call them magical fibers, and I really think I need to charge more because charcoal is precious. But I keep a bunch of surfaces painted so that if I want to make something really fast, um, I just pull out a surface and paint. Don't have to wait for the um, base coat to dry. And some of these are dirty, but that's okay because I'll probably paint over them. But um, I paint about 30 dominoes at a time. And it does not matter what color you base coat them because you can always put what color you want on top. But I use the Americana acrylics with an equal amount of paint adhesion medium. And I usually put three or four coats of that on there because it makes so much more paint than you think. And it does not take long to paint one of these. I paint them, like I said, about 30 at a time. I paint a coat. By the time I finish, it's ready to paint another coat. And I just go ahead and use the paint adhesion um, to base coat them because I don't like to waste paint. So you can see I, I do a lot of different colors. Some I go ahead and splatter. For my Christmas ones, I, I really like having the dark blue background and it does not matter what color you use, but I, I like to splatter them with gold. So I have a whole tray over here that's ready to splatter, but this one's got some um, yellow and white splattered on it, and it has some dirt because I think I found it in the corner on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, well, welcome to my world. Let's see if I can put these somewhere where I won't knock them off. And, oh, there already goes. Woo! <laughs> This is a stipple brush that I really like. It's a Lynn Andrews. And what's her name? Lynn Andrews. Stipple brush. And you can find them on her site. But this one is a six. And the four is just a little smaller. And I really like that. This is an ornament. I already painted it. But um, the buffalo plaid is still popular. And it's good to have a bunch of those done. Here's one that I did, and I'll put something on it. Who knows? It might be Christmas. I like pink at Christmas. I like to use um, either gesso or paste to make texture. This one, I've got the back. I like finishing the back. Y'all, please, please paint the backs of your ornaments, unless it's something natural like this. That's okay, but if you get paint on it, paint it. Your customers deserve better than that. And Punchinella is one of my favorite things to use. The other thing is the drywall tape. These are probably my two go-to things. I love, love, love buying stencils. I just bought some more this morning. But here's one that has the um, drywall tape. And I did that on both sides. And these are ready to have something painted on them. This heart. I just bought a bunch of these from CD Wood. These are really good to have. Here's one that I did last year. And I've got a pattern that's going to go on that one. These wooden cradles are basically the easiest thing to paint on ever. I love having them and they're readily available to everybody these five by sevens came from amazon but i usually buy my um other ones from dick blick 
it's a really good place to get them. Wood slices, another of my favorite. I'm going to put the sources where I get some of my ornaments that can help you. But these are so fun to make quick magnets. Just um, paint the middle, and I leave, leave a little edge around them, and um, sand them and paint them again. These are so, I think this is sour wood, but these are smooth already, but not quite smooth enough if you want to do detail but if you just want to paint some snowman on them that's okay this is a really cool okay i need to think what i'm saying this is a cool surface i buy lots of little ornaments to have around i buy them on sale this came from cd wood these are mdfs this came from Bear With Us Ink. These are Sheila Landry's ornaments. It's so fun to just paint a word in them and you can use um, just simple borders or you can use a, a stencil. But again, let's, let's finish those backs. That was a stencil. This is done with one of those little sp um, sponge daubers and a little heart to make a music note these are great surfaces from CD Wood oops sorry again I like to have y'all I have lost it I like to have some painted that one's got dust on it because it's literally been sitting on my table for a year then little wood slices I have a ton of these base coated I can pull out one and paint something really simple on it. Another thing that I've begun to like having are the pit pens. These Far Farber Faber Farber Castell. I just got this this pack of the um, different sizes from Amazon. I'm an Amazon girl because I don't have transportation and I don't get to leave the house, so. Amazon is my thing. It's my go-to. So, that's what I do to make little trinkets fast and easy. Now, these, again, these are Fixion pens. Um, and again, the Tiki Ring, however you say that. I have a pencil with a good eraser. I like mechanical pencils. They're just they they're just easier to work with. And of course, my always handy charcoal white General's charcoal white pencil. I cannot function without that pencil. And when I lose it, it's it's panic time. Lori the other day asked how many had um lots of little books around with their drawings in it and most of us didn't i am not disciplined enough to do that this is what i do i i usually sketch um computer paper printer paper or <laughs> i grab whatever is handy if i have an idea or see something that i like that i want to make into a pattern I, I, I grab that and write on that. <laughs> and here's one that I had done the Marion Bright last year. And I thought, oh, these would make it cute little tiny treasures fast and easy. This is the pattern that I had that has the, um, the little manger trees, angels. I did that two years ago, I think. And these are the ones that I just recently sketched. And that has gold paint on it from Splattering. This book, when I try <laughs> to use it like it's supposed to be, these are just some sketches and doodles that I, I made. These are from Pinterest. It was um, an article about how to make easy flowers. And these really are easy and fun. But a lot of these I've made into little quick patterns. 
Let's see if I can get that. And this is from a course that I'm taking from Laurie Speltz that helps us know what to design. And he's going to have to get painted next year, I think, my little frog pilgrim. But this is what I've done lately. When my friend asked for 60 dominoes, she had already ordered about 60 a couple years ago to give out as random acts of kindness. And that's what I use them for and what most people use them for. But I was thinking, well, I really need to do some new ones. Even though it wasn't going to the same people, I thought I would just do something. So these are quickly sketched there. And you can see here, I had a little change of heart there. And I'll fix that. But these are just some things that happened. There's that. And that one and this so you can see I've done him you can see they're really easy and simple they don't have to be anything complicated then my friend wanted some um, happy dominoes so again I went to patterns that I had already done and um, put them on the little scale. What I do is I draw the surface and it doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes when I make the patterns I'll go ahead and draw the surface but then it gets so horribly messed up I just quit. But this is what I do. Um, I'm going to do a tree in a container and um, one lady said Lord, have mercy. I didn't know I'd have to erase some more, honey. I spend half my time erasing. But that would be cute and just put some dots. And y'all, I changed where I put this and it's still bouncing like crazy. But anyway, so just some dots from ornaments or just a simple tree. And a lot of times, I'll sketch out just the basic and then come back and follow the shape. And again, some more dots for the ornaments. Or you could put it in a um, pattern. But anyway, that's what I do. When I paint these, I make a copy, and then I cut it out. And I cut it out with a little bit on top. And I try to see my sketches. You add space to it when you sketch around something, so you got to make a little adjustment. But you can see right there that that fits right on. Hold it up to the light. And I put a piece of painting tape on there and I hold it down. Get that one on straight. But um, you just put your tracing paper underneath that. And that's it. I have these taped all over my painting table. I have these from the, um, <laughs> from the Easter ones I did. But that's just how I do it doesn't make it lighter, doesn't make it wrong. If you don't draw, you can always find pieces from patterns that you own. And this is, I don't have enough space to put this under here. Ugh. I keep my designs that I've done in a notebook. And boy, I need to do a little cleaning up, don't I? <laughs> But these are my designs from this year. And you can see there's quite a few of them in there. I put them in a plastic, plastic notebook holder, page holder, and keep them in here. This one's a design that's coming out in Painty's on on Tuesday. I oh, know this is crooked. 
But this is how you can use bits and pieces. That is from the ornament that I showed you earlier, the surface I showed you earlier. It's Joy to the World. And that in itself would make a great ornament. Quick and easy. And you can look back through here if you wanted just the cat. You could take just the cat and put him on one of those wood slices. And you'd have, put a magnet, magnet on the back and you'd have a great gift. A little froggy, you could take the little froggy from that or the sunflower. There's the wheat. You can take the hot cocoa cup or a little birdie. Just use what you've got. You don't have to rebuild the art. Take what you got and use it. And last, I've said this so many times. This is my lifesaver. This is a, um, a light pad, an LED. Mine is um, an electrical one you plug in to the wall. But I also use this to draw on. It's so handy. I think maybe mine costs 20 $24 maybe. I don't know. I got, again, got it on Amazon. You can find them anywhere. All price ranges. You can have them that plug into your computer or plug into a wall. Just be careful and read what you're getting. But I thought that would be fun for y'all to maybe see my process and maybe it wasn't. Um, I may come back and show you just a few little things of the ones that I painted and we'll see what happens today. I hope y'all have a great day. And I hope this is you've enjoyed this and that it's helped you. And we'll see you later. Bye.